Okay, sorry about that. So let's set up our quaternion slurp. It's going to take three variables. The first one that we're going to enter is our rotation. So my transform dot rotation. And I'll explain all this a little bit more after, but let's just get it working right now. The next one, we're going to enter a quaternion look rotation. So quaternion dot look rotation. And that takes two uh, values. And the first one we're going to enter is our target position and our position. And then the next one after that is how much we want to rotate. So we'll do rotation speed times time dot delta time. So let's close that off. Make sure we don't have any errors. Go with console, no errors. And let's click our evil QB. We have our move speed set to 1, our rotation speed set to 1. Now if we watch down in the game view, when we actually start it, it'll slowly rotate towards us. but not on the axis we want. So let me take a look at the code. So we're quaternion slurp, our rotation, the quantity of up. This shouldn't be a comma. It should be a negative. So we'll save that off. Hit play again, and there we go, it rotates towards us. One more time, there we go. Now we can change how fast it's going to rotate simply by editing the rotation speed. For now we're just going to leave it at 1. So what exactly is this command doing? Okay, so we're taking our transform, which like I said before, is this property up here of our evil QB. We're going to adjust its rotation, and it's going to equal to a quaternion slurp. Now, what that does is it slowly turns, uh, well, it slowly interpolates between one point to another, and the points we're going to pick are our current rotation, so the angle we're currently looking at, and this angle here. Now, what this one is doing is it's taking our current position, or sorry, our enemy's position and ours and slowly incrementing to where we want to look at. So it's going to go from point A to point B and the third parameter we enter is how much to rotate by. Now our rotation speed is what we defined in our editor as 1 times time dot, dot delta time and what time dot delta time does is, is it sort of normalizes the frame rate on different systems. So you could have one computer running at 60 frames a second, one at 30, uh, one running at you know, 1,000 frames a second. And what time.delta time will do is take the distance or the, the amount of time that has passed between frames and multiply it by whatever you set it to. So this is a way that you can have it turn at the same speed on all different computer systems. Okay, now that we have it rotating towards our player, uh, let's go ahead and have him move towards our player. So we'll go down, make a new line. Let's widen up my model development a bit. Okay, make a comment. Move towards target. Now the simple way to do this is just to take our transforms position. So my transform dot position. Then we're just going to add to it. Uh, vector three dot forward times our movement speed. We'll also multiply it by time dot delta time. Mm, that should work. There we go. So we'll save that off and let's have a look.
Ah, I have it moving forward on it in the world space, and we don't want that. We want it to move forward and in our space. So we'll just simply change this to my transform, which is our locally cached version. We still want it to move forward by its move speed. We have an error. Uh, I spelled something wrong. My transform. Good old copy and paste. Ah, here's where the air was. All right. So all the errors are gone. Hit play again. And as we, whoops, let me do that without moving the mouse. Now we'll notice it turns towards us and starts running at us. Now if we watch it up in the scene view, we can actually start running away. And we notice it's turning around and chasing us. Let's speed him up just a little bit. Let's make him turn at a speed of five, and let's make him move at a speed of three. Now we, by default, I believe are moving at a six. I believe it's a six. But let's just see how this works. So he's coming at us, let's start running away. Yeah, so we're still a little bit faster than him which is fine for now. But he catches up and turns real nicely. Let's run right towards him. <laughs> okay. So now we have him charging at our player. So in our next tutorial, we'll start scripting out the attacking. So we'll have our enemy be able to attack us and on a successful hit, lower our health. So I'll see you next week.